So last year, J.B. Smoove made a joke on an online video about how he couldn't believe he didn't get a part in Django Unchained. <laughs> how does it feel? Yo, man, how come, I, how, how come I didn't get a part in Django, man? Yeah. Said, man, come on, man. Yeah, he was like, how can this not happen? So how, does, how did it feel to land a lead role in such a significant film for black actors? Oh, well, for me, I was like, I'm just like J.B. Smoove. I just wanted to get in on it, to mm -hmm. be able to work with Quentin Tarantino, Kerry Washington, and everybody else. Uh, and then once you know, it was solidified, we went to work, you know, it was like no cell phones on the set, which was Quentin Tarantino's mm -hmm. request, and we were in this, we were in this world, in this, and we were like a artistic family tackling uh, slavery in the most different way, in a hum humorous way, in a mm -hmm. serious way, and all of that uh, with the backdrop of a Western. Django goes from victim to vigilante. Mm -hmm. and there, yeah, and there, well said. Thank you, and there are victims across the globe throughout history. What do you hope people take away from the film? It is, it's a story of hope, it's a story of, of somebody who's been told that he's less than but who knows that he is worthy of the best you know and he he saves himself and rescues his woman it's a hopeful film it's an adventure all about what you might do for love and how that could save you well you know i think that for a lot of halloweens to come we're going to be seeing a lot of Django's and broomhildas <laughs> i know i'm going to Django for sure right? in the blue right in how the blue it, <laughs> how, how is it developing the look of your characters oh sharon davis yeah we had this and brilliant costume designer sharon davis and the hair makeup team i mean everybody yeah. really worked very hard for this world to be as beautiful and as authentic as possible. And we worked with Sharon before on Ray, so mm -hmm. we know that she's limitlessly talented. Yeah. This is a spoiler, so I saved it for last, but I loved how at the end of the film, you guys had like a Bonnie and Clyde vibe. Mm. Right? How do you imagine Django and Broomhilda is happily ever after? Well, <laughs> there's been a little talk been about been it. Little talk ah. about it. About Broomhilda working the Underground Railroad mm -hmm. and Django being on the run, because he is a wanted man. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> right, good luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Adult supervision is required. <laughs>